All right, guys, before the game started, I actually saw another email um, from the game creator or someone working on the game, and they told me that there was a way to fix the blurry text in the game, but I didn't do it because I'm stupid and I didn't read uh, <laughs> the second email. Also, um, I'm going to post a link to the Kickstarter in the description if you want to see more of this game, which I don't see why you wouldn't. It's a pretty cool game if you like point-and-click adventures. Um, so I'll leave a link to that and pretty much everything he gave me to leave a link to. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to include that I'm an idiot because he did give me an email for the blurry text and I know I complained about it a lot, but he, they actually did have a fix for it. I'm just dumb. All right, guys. Ah! Well, on to the video, I guess. Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome back to another Steam Free to Play walkthrough. Today we have an alpha demo that was provided to us last Thursday, but I haven't been checking my email because I suck. Uh, it's called Chinatown Detective Agency, so we're going to check it out real quick. This is a very early demo, and as you can imagine, there are plenty of things that can and still be, will be approved. Be, we hope you'll be understanding and patient with the current state of the game. We are continuing to develop the game, and we hope to share an even better version with you sometime in the future. I'm excited. Um, and if you like the video, as always, please like and uh, subscribe. Alright, what are we doing here? Start new game. What's that one say? I don't know, click it. I don't know what it says. Ah, close the game. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I broke it it. So this is supposed to be a cyber noir point click adventure, and you guys know me. I'm fucking, I'm so good at point and click adventures. It only takes me about a day to figure something out. Alright, rematch. Not this button. Start new game. Let me turn up the volume real quick in case somebody starts talking to me or something in it. Singapore, 2031. Man looks upon all Calm. that he has made and sees that it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. This jargon is a little hard out. Go, man, go. Look, he's got he even a little smart watch. He his deeds in word and song. So you he know builds in monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his own dominion. Rub the bald spot. He bald. knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him into action. So he creates his greatest work of all, a Robot. tribute to his likeness, an extension of his being. Hey. Whack. A witness oh. to the brilliance of its master. Uh-oh. But man's greatest work of far. all does not see brilliance. Hmm. It sees only corruption, vanity, tired, hubris. That bug's about to attack us, man. Watch out. Ooh, it did attack us. I knew it. I and knew it. it dreams of a world untainted by the touch of man. Uh, man shouldn't have touched that bug. That's for damn sure. <laughs> that thing blew his ass up. Hey, <laughs> got him. That's what we get for rubbing his bald spot. What is this thing? 9 9 smart assistant. Well, it's a start. Hey, it is a start. Amira Demira? Is that what her name was? I'm here for the housewarming party. Welcome, Justin Kim. I have a little bit of a hard time reading this text. Well, well, the CID Dharma. superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Central investigation <laughs> Sounds apartment. like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days... Even the commissioner is part of the furniture down in Geelong. Huh. Not the commissioner. 
I brought you a little gift. Thanks, man. What'd you get me? Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Look at our money. We got $2,000, son. Straight to business, huh? Yes. What? I got money. bills to pay. Yeah. Yeah, I got something. You'll need to meet a client somewhere more private. He's the tinfoil hat wearing type. Oh, my type of guy. Let's go. SPF? What does SPF mean? 40? Civilian. SPF 40. Sun protection uh, force. When are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work? <laughs> Firstly, uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me. You do work, you'll regret for a pittance. And get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. Fair. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected. And he's got a kind of money that can keep your lights on. If I take his tinfoil hat, do I become the king? That's the question. <laughs> do I become the king of the crazies? <laughs> We're going you know, you can always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. The Sun Protection Force? Yeah, SPF. well, my days as a cop are over. I had to ask. Okay. Alright. My guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy, and you might actually stay in business for a while. I'm glad that they have voice actors. Thanks, Justin. Oh, you won. You take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. Alright, you talked me into it. No promises, son. You didn't voice act that one. Oh god, she stopped voice acting. Shaw! Sure. Justin wasn't looking, joking. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was in a light and under a Bodhi tree, but they aren't na native to Singapore. I can't do a female British accent or whatever accent that was, sorry. Although that doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in the city, so that should narrow down my options. Alright. Welcome to Chinatown, Detective Agency. Missions will take you to different places in Singapore and the world. Right now, the mission takes task you with finding a Bodhi tree. Click on the map button at the bottom panel to access the MRT map and click a on a location to travel there. Alright, you talked me into it. Oh god. This would have one. This would have a Bodhi tree. Has to. It's a garden. Yes, what does this mean? Nine, nine. Oh, that's already got stuff in it. The Botanical Gardens. First laid out in 1859 during British rule. Oh, Countless again. species of plants and animals have called this home over the years. Aminals. But I'm here for one in particular. The Bodhi tree by Swan Lake. I... The client should be waiting there. I'll need to hack my way past the maintenance gate, though. Alright. Too easy? Yes, we're doing it. Ah, just hit the buttons. Okay, we got this. Oh, yeah. What the hell does this say? Mismatch detected. Does that mean I'm failing? Okay, we want that. Okay, we're failing, I guess. So we don't want to fail. That's... Okay, we're doing it. Where do we go from here? Okay, this is a matching game. We were literally playing a matching game, and I was not watching any of the ones I was hitting, so that's unfortunate. It's alright. We got this. We got this. It's easy. Okay. Yes, easy. Haha! -ha! Warning my butt. Let me in. I did not know we were playing the matching game until I already clicked like 20 things. Okay. Where's the Bodhi tree? She's thicker than a biscuit. Hey, let's go. There's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the happy families and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? Where's your hat at? I must take it so I can be king. I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. Well, until now. I have a special arrangement with the Keeper. If you had told him I was expecting you, he would have just let you waltz in, you know? But I wouldn't be able to show my skills. Maybe tell me next time? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. 
I only deal with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you have this fine I'm morning. Doing. My skills to pay the bills. Please Give me your aluminum hat. Call me Rupert. Tenfold. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some <laughs> legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you, it pays well. I'll pay more I than like two thousand dollars. So what legwork are we talking about? I just have to say right off the bat that I don't do dirty work. I'm an investigator, not a thug. Oh, Miss Dharma, I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get hey. to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. No violence. Having said that, were Man. you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, okay. I won't okay. stop you. Oh, me. One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of a profitable insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. The financial controller, a man named Philip oh, Ung, man. has disappeared, along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. Uh-oh. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone, and of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. It reads, oh, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Huh. It's like that. That's some cloak and dagger monologue. stuff right there. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. Right. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. You're probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Yes, that'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. We'll know where you are. Most of the time. Uh -oh. I'd usually Fuzz. find that creepy, but knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kinda dulls the edge. Resourceful and funny. I like you already. Good luck. Why don't you do it, Rupert Chow? You seem pretty smart. Your mission log at the bottom right- look at her walking to that sign. Ha <laughs> ha. Bottom right corner logs all your leads and other relevant information to the case. Right now, you might want to go to the last known location of Felton no Nung. Alright. Wait, I'm trying to find my mission log. Of all- God, it's so hard to read. Of all man's miseries, the bitterest is having a draw. I need to find this book. Just, we're looking for a library. Got it. <laughs> God. <laughs> Might not be able to read, but I know we're looking for a library. Where would a library be? In the Civic District? Yeah, probably. Look at this train! I like the train effect. There we go. There's gotta be a library here, right? National Library. The National oh God, Library. Psychic. It's a miracle it's still up and running, considering how underfunded the government is. I'll need to run a search on the database to know which section of the library I should be headed for. Okay. Oh, don't touch me, robot. I'll slap you. Can I talk to these people? No. Can't interact with them. Can interact with this dude. One of the key mechanics of China detect Chinatown Detective Agency is that it requir requires the player to figure things out on their own. This means getting on Google or doing a research to crack a clue. Oh, God. See if you can figure out who wrote the quote in the mission log, then type the- Oh, crap. I got this. I got this. Do I need the whole thing? Okay. Okay. Not so sure about that. Okay, it wasn't Sigma Freud. The scariest thing is knowing so much and having- Control over nothing. Okay, coronavirus. That's not what I was looking for. Quote. Uh. Okay, let me read it again, because this isn't working. Of all men's miseries, I did not even type the right quote. What was I thinking of? I was pretty close. I just reworded it in my own words. 
Somebody else has been looking this up. Her Herodotus! Alright, Herodotus, you taught me into it. I like it better when the puzzle's in game you actually figure out in the game, not Google, but alright. Please proceed to the Central Public Library basement. Here we go. Here we go! He's got a robot arm. The basement. Wow, look at that new face. A new face. You here for the free Wi-Fi? I'm looking for a book. Huh, sure you are. Oh, you're, uh, you're serious. Sorry, it's just that we don't get many visitors looking for books these days. For, or these years. Which one are you looking for? I'm looking for the histories by Herodotus. Goodness, Herodotus, follow me. Okay, talk me into it. Look at that dude with his visor. He's reading that book so hard. Here we go. The History of Herodotus. Twickenham Press, 1952. Probably hasn't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. Alright. Hmm, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. On the contrary, a lot of stuff that... Herodo a lot of the stuff Herodotus wrote about in the book is pretty out of the ordinary. It was his attempt at chronicling the world of his time. And let's say he got pretty creative. Flying snakes in Egypt, ants the size of fox in Persia, stuff like that. Hang on, some of these passages have been underlined. Uh, yeah, some people like to do that. No, there's something strange about this one. Someone underlined only single letters on some pages. This is a clue. Q. A clue? Look, I'm trying to track down the last person who used this book. Is there some way I can access CCT? the closed circuit television footage out of this part of the library. Uh, well, yes. Technically, yes, but you'll have to file a J2 form and an Annex B form and personally hand it over to the director. But he's on vacation in Fiji, but you could also file an e-application to the security department and... No, I haven't got the time for that. Hang on, what's going on here? Because things are escalating pretty quickly. Why is the L a dot? I'm a private investigator. A person's gone missing and I'm trying to track them down. The only lead I've got led me to this book. And you're thinking the underlying parts are a clue? I don't think they're a clue. I'm pretty sure they are. Look, do you think you could at least help me find out the last person who checked out this book was? Yes, but I'm not really allowed to tell you. Not even for a hundred dollars? Ha, you know, for your troubles? And of course, there's the priceless sense of accomplishment that comes with helping an investigator get to the bottom of the case. So this is what it's come to. I mean, politicians get bribed, getting bribed is sort of the norm now. The librarians? <sighs> I'm sorry, you're right. That was a stupid idea. Look. Tell you what, 300 and you got yourself a deal. <laughs> oh, being a librarian doesn't exactly pay great. In times like these, you gotta look out for number one. Oh, uh, 300 it is, I guess. Okay. Give me the information. Okay, it says here the book was checked out about 83 hours ago by Geneve, Genevieve Go. Address? Well, now we're really breaking the law, aren't we? Look around you. The law is out of service until further knows. If this person is going to be found, we'll have to work around it. Well, let's see. 42 B Badock North Avenue, Unit 12-4081. Perfect. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm going to have to look at the book. Maybe I can make some sense of the clue. That would be extremely helpful. There's cut of the pay in it for you if you manage to figure it out. Does this technically make me a private eye now? Yeah, you could say that. Huh, that's nuts. Okay, I'll let you know if I make a breakthrough. All right, thanks, fam. New location unlocked. Civic District, new location unlocked. Badok. We gotta go to Badok. Badok. Yes. Yes, I do want to travel to Badok. Yeah. Badok, Singapore's most populated residential town. Without the exact address, finding someone would be have been looking would have been looking for a needle in a grain silo. Oh, that's a new one. Black 4-2.
Well, someone left in a hurry. I should fill around for the light switch. Right there. Nailed it. Whoa! There's a dress! But yes to the dress. Ain't that a TV show or something? Hmm, she left in such a rush. She left her computer on. Well, looky here. Alrighty. That's a lot of numbers. Ning Philip to go Janine. Jin Jin. It's a secret code. I'm betting the book in the library is a key. Time to head back. Well, that was quick. Whoever Geneva is, it looks like she packed up and left. I doubt she's still in the country. See if there's anything else we can look at here. Nothing. Okay, we're stuck. <laughs> How do I leave? Back. Oh, I can hit the map button. Duh. She figured out that book fast she already figured it out. The picnic at midnight under the shade of a tree where all was eliminated. Oh, I hit it too fast. Kind of like this? Hmm, yes, yes, let's try it. What are we trying? What the f world is going on here? Enter the deciphered message below. Okay, so I got match up the numbers. These don't match up though. Uh, what the crap, dude? Okay, it can be two things, I guess. But what would be 756? None of these would be 756. I have no idea what's going on here. Huh. Give me one moment. Get an old calculator out. Hmm. 88 divided by 100. What does that mean? Oh, well, obviously. I need an adult. This is really confusing. Oh wait, I got it, I got it. There's there's some that are only two numbers. Got it, got it, got it. Wait. And then L O and then we need a six nine. Six nine. This is gonna take me a bit. L O N, and we'll guess the last one's a G. But I don't know. No, it's not a G. So there should be a 99 somewhere. L O N D. L O N D. And then we're at 11. This is hard, man. Mm. 11, 112. L O N D. I. You can't see the I, of course. Is that an I or an L? E C D E F G H I J K. Got it. London. Londie. And then we need 81. It's going to take forever. 81 is. I don't know. Oh. Is that 91 or 81? It's an 81. Hmm. And, and then we're at one not one ninety four. Lundini. And then we're at seventy seven. You Man, it would kill me if I misread something and had to start over. I lost my place. 103. Okay. And then 142. 
What is this? I can't read this. This is not the English. 109. Oh, I hit the wrong button. At least it didn't restart me. It just booped at me. Okay, and then 101 is unwed. London unwed. 691 uh 69 and 109 109 109 I don't like this puzzle <laughs> This is something I'd usually like to pull out my notebook and paper for to figure it out uh, 109 E and then 104 S. Too bad I can't read whatever I'm putting in there. I, I, yeah, the text is really hard to read. 99 is D 84 A. 155 is Y. 125. So if you know it starts with a 1, it's going to be a 3 number. If it starts with anything else, it's going to be 2. Which should have been my hint, but it took me forever to figure that out. 125. S. 112. I. 1. Whatever that is, is that a 111? Or is that a one? Oh, that's a 112 I did already, I think. 997 P. Okay, it's not P. X. There's two 97s. Oh, wow, that's toxic, actually. Huh. My bad. P and X that were both 97s. That just brain boggled the hell out of me. 121 uh, 120 I don't know. X fort. P e and then 82. This puzzle is literally the dead devil. 82. I can't believe there's two numbers for <laughs> two of the same numbers for different letters. That's so toxic. 82. Where's 82 at? I see 72. Um, I don't see 82, dog. 82. Maybe there is no 82? does have like a colon in between it or something. Yeah, 143. Yeah, there's no 82. Let's see. I see an 81. 182. Ah, that's what it is. You just can't tell because the one's like a freaking colon. Thank God it. Londinium Wednesday 640. Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> a meeting place at... And a time, Londinium, what is that, a club? No, I doubt it, Geneve. Left in a hurry. I don't think she was heading out to meet someone in Singapore. No, no, this is a flight. Londinium, the old Roman name for London. Precisely, I gotta go. Thanks for everything. No problem, May Ting, by the way. If you need my help again, you know where to find me. I like that I can put my encyclopedic knowledge to you. good use, but bring cash. <laughs> Noted. Thanks, Mating. I'll be in touch. 
Amira. Rupert, Philip Nwong and his girlfriend are no longer in Singapore. I expected as much. Do you know where they went? Yes, London. I need money for a flight, and I need some intel on the ground. Say no more. I'm wiring you a partial payment for the job. Book your flight and get to London as soon as possible. We'll track them down. Someone will be waiting there for you. Find Philip and his girlfriend and do what you must to get them back to Singapore. Or at least, or at the very least, get the money back. What happens when they get back here? You shouldn't worry about that. Just get it done. You'll get a bonus for bringing them back here alive. Now that you know where the suspect is, it's time to fly there. The game features a flight booking system called Horus. That's cool. It's like an Egyptian god flight thing, bird. Click on the Horus button in the bottom panel and book a flight to London from Singapore tomorrow in game time. After that, travel to the airport in the real game. You'll have to wait for the actual departure time before heading to the airport. But for this demo, you can get on the book flight at any time. Wait, did it just say I have to wait real time to get on the flight if it's not the demo? Oh. Oh, wait. You must, your flight, return flight. Okay. Well, I guess I can book it for actual time, too, so that's kind of neat. I guess we booked the flight. Airport. Tax Dodgers will be jailed. What is going on? Let me on my plane. Do I have to make it the same thing? Ah, this is confusing. <laughs> Are these the dates or something? Okay, I think I broke it. Can I just click this? Yeah, let's do that one. How do I book it? Okay, maybe I have to type in the same thing. Zero nine. Zero three. Nine three. How do I put in the time? I can't. What's the year? I don't know how to book it. Oh my god. Help! Is there a specific one I need to hit or something? It won't let me book my flight! Alright, wait a second now. Let's try this again. Alright. Yes, please. We did it. Lord. Okay, cool. It's because I changed the year, I guess. I don't know what happened. That, uh... <laughs> I don't know if I'd be looking forward to that in the real game. I think I'm too dumb for that part. Look at that. That's super pretty. Rupert just got out of the terminal. What's the plan? I spoke to some of my informants, and we pinpointed them to an apartment not far from Canary Wharf. CC's closed circuit television footage shows a man that matches Philip's profile into the apartment a few hours ago. Go now. Okay, you talked me into it. I just got here though. Where am I at? Oh, here we go. Yeah? Are you there? Yeah, just outside the apartment. 
Listen, Philip isn't just an overpaid accountant. He he served in the special forces during his national service years, so thanks. Don't worry. There's always a diplomatic solution to every problem. Like. Mr. Nuong, I'm Amir Dharma from Singapore. I've been sent to ask you a few questions. Can I have a few minutes? Oh God, whoa, homie. Looks like the diplomatic solution isn't going to work today. When you see the crosshairs icon above Amir's head, key, head it means that a shootout is about to begin. Press and hold the G key to unholster your gun and begin the shootout. Oh yes, I'm ready. Bop, bop, bop. Whenever you enter a shootout, your mouse cursor will turn into a crosshair. Shoot Philip to disable him. You should always try to shoot your target in the hand or arm to avoid killing them. All right. Be careful. You've got limited time to take your shot. If you run out of time, you will automatically kill your target. Boom. Got him. That's cool. I like that we get to shoot. Woman of the hour is back in the house. Hello, Rupert. How's our man doing? He was discharged from the hospital yesterday. He was carted to CID headquarters, but not before I could have a word with him. He had quite a story. Oh, care to share? It appears Philip's little heist wasn't his idea. Give me money. He had accomplices? Accomplice. It suggests that it was a team effort, but it's not that. It's more like he received instructions from someone else, someone that's proving to be elusive. I've got a feeling that you aren't here for a courtesy call. Be thankful. Repeat business is hard to come by these days. Get yourself something good to eat. Get some rest. You've earned it. Call me when you're ready to go deeper down the rabbit hole. Thanks. See you when I see you. Good day, Miss Dharma. A picnic at midnight. Case complete. We did it. Great success. Yay. All right, black screen. Is that it? Resume game. I think that might be that. Yeah, I think that's it, boys. All right, guys, if you like the video, as always, I always appreciate it if you like and subscribe. And this game should be coming out today. I got this alphabet of key thing on Thursday, and I think they said it's going to be coming out around today, the 26th. So, yeah, I would check it out if you like point-and-click games. It's pretty neat. It's not super hard. The only things I really didn't care for is it's hard to read some of the letters. And this is alphabet, so it's good. of course it's going to change, or early alpha, whatever it is. Um, some of the characters are really hard to read. I don't really like looking things up in Google. I guess you could already know it, but I like it better when you can figure it out in the game itself. Um, and I really like that shootout phase. That one puzzle was so hard, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> How did you have two numbers for or the same number for two different characters? All right, guys. Bye.